Hi everybody, this is Synthetic Black. Welcome to another Blackstone Fortress video. Today we're going to be doing Esperin Lorcano. Uh, he, uh, he was a lot of fun. I enjoyed him. I did, I did him fairly quickly, and then I did a whole bunch of work on him outside of video, so there's going to be a little bit of a jump in quality towards the end. So the very first thing that I did was I went in with a Zenithal Highlight. And this is a pretty common step. Uh, in other videos I've said before, I'll say it again. I, I do this not so much to utilize the Zenithal Highlight, but to just get an idea of where all the lights and shadows get placed, just so I can map them out. After that, because this guy has a lot of delicate detail on the back of his cloak, uh, that's gonna have to be gold, I went in and sprayed in my metallics, in this case, just a gold. It was a liquid metal gold color from Vallejo. After that, I went in and started basing out the metallics with a dark gun metal. One of my favorite paints to use. Uh, it, it just gives a really nice, clean effect. And it's just very, very pleasant to work with. After that, I went in and started base coating the, I guess, cloth vellum scroll hanging from Esperin's belt. I did decide to darken this down a little bit, but this was just useful just for basing it in and just getting a sense of where things are gonna be. Next, on the inside of his cloak, if you look really careful, it uses a very desaturated blue, which I used a international blue for that. I then went on and applied the first of many coats of a purple color that I thinned down quite a bit and I kept it really thin because again on the back of this cloak we have these really fine indentations that could very easily get clogged up so this first layer you can very much see the metallics through and that's that's what I want because I want to be able to control where I'm layering on thick bits of paint you know those those recesses those lines those little swirls are filling up really quickly so I have to be very very careful about how much paint I apply to those regions. Again, you can see it, that metal is just poking through really thickly. And I'm just going in and I'm not wasting a lot of time waiting for things to dry, but I'm being very delicate around the areas that I know need to stay gold. But I'm being super, super cautious and working very, very quickly, making sure that I'm not getting a lot of pooling in any of those really detailed recessed areas. After that I go in and I start using a color I almost never use directly on the model itself, and that's a flat matte black. I avoid it because you usually can't wash darker than black, um, but in this case all of his clothes are black anyway, so I want to start off really dark because I plan on just overbrushing later and adding in a little bit of detail that way. His gloves, his cane, and his boots are pretty much the only parts that are black, so this step is pretty quick. So in a single, single thin coat, I go through with a desaturated, very pale brown and do one coat of that directly onto his gun holster. Or what I assume is a gun holster. And that's, that's literally it for that part. After this, I start going in with a lighter purple, just mixed with a little bit of magenta, just to start fleshing out some of those highlights on that cloak. I spend a lot of time on the cloak and getting that right. There's several steps that I do outside of the video to kind of highlight that. So I ultimately go in with some silicone gray and really push those deep recesses a bit more into the black range. And then I go in with an airbrush and just shoot some Nullin oil onto those areas to kind of blend in those hard edge brush strokes with those uh, lighter sections of purple. So even though I'm building it up here slowly, I'm building it towards something brighter. I need to darken it down later. Uh, and then eventually I go over it again off, again off camera and highlight up brighter to those high levels of purple. I wish I'd caught that on camera, but 
I just kind of had a, an epiphany after all the shooting was done, and I just kind of kept going. I think a lot of that epiphany was realizing that Games Workshop shades, I think, are actually better out of an airbrush than they are off of a brush itself. So I'll, I'll continue doing that, and that's going to affect my work strongly from here on out. So here's just some simple gray charcoal overbrushing on all these parts. And this is just really to give them a little bit of form, a little definition. I'm not spending a ton of time doing it because it's, it's a really muted effect, but it's there. So here we're going in with our first wash pass. And I am using Reichland Flesh Shade here. I do use others additionally to darken it down, but this is a very, very gentle application. I pull most of this out. I just want a little bit of tinting just to kind of provide some warmth. Later on in the video, I do use an oil wash as well as some, I believe it's Druki Violet, to add a few accent colors to the headpiece and the armor just to make it more interesting, as well as some Basilicanum Gray as well. Getting that armor right was important. I painted the third eye cover white and then just used some dark blue. I think it was Drakenhoff Nightshade, just to add some detail. Went in, based out the eye lenses red, as well as the purity seal on the back. a little bit of, I believe it's Agrax Earthshade into these uh, scroll work, I guess I'll just call it. I like the form that it gives, but I think it was just too bright. I really wanted the focal area to be on his face and his chest area, so I ended up darkening that down quite a bit, uh, and that, that worked well. Start adding a few little highlights onto the metal. I'm being fairly messy with it because I know I'm going to shade over it later. Just helping pick out some of those sharper edges with the silver. And I go through and do that a couple times, uh, layering back and forth between lighter and darker and just helping some of those details pop out just a bit more. He turned out really well. He looks a lot like the box art. What I'm most happy with, though, is the detailing. Um, in especially in real life, and believe it or not, not so much on video. It it really has this rich, dynamic quality. It looks very luxurious and silky, and I'm extremely happy with how it turned out. Pushing, I think, the lower portions of his body closer to a dark look was, I think, a spot-on move, and I really just enjoyed it. So notably, now that this guy's done, I technically have enough explorers and all the enemies done so that I can actually play Blackstone Fortress if I wanted. I'm going to finish out the rest of the explorers because I don't want to have them be forgotten about, but uh, I'm excited to have gotten this far. It's It's been a long journey. I'm really looking forward to actually playing this game instead of just painting it, but um, I'm enjoying the challenge, the challenge of, of getting all of these guys ready and having to deal with unique characters that I've never painted before or anything like them has been a really fun challenge, and it's kind of addicting to just focus in on one character instead of batch painting out an army, so... I'm enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying it too. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe. At this point, we're around 33 subscribers, if I recall correctly, 32, 33. If you want to you know, get in there and be 35, maybe even up to 40, you're more than welcome to do so. I put out videos like this about, yeah, once a week, um, give or take. Uh, I like to make sure the videos are good before I put them out. 
but uh, it's very much appreciated when people subscribe. If you like it, leave a like. Those help with algorithms. Comments are always appreciated. If you have any questions or techniques or just want to know what kind of music I'm using, um, I'm more than happy to, to share that information. And I, I read and love and adore every one of those comments I get. So, appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching again. Y your viewership just means the world to me. Appreciate it so much. This has been Synthetic Black. We'll see you next time.